In this video, I'm going to solve a nasty homogeneous recurrence relation. You will need to know how to manipulate matrices to find the coefficients here. It's going to be much faster than writing out a bunch of formulas and doing systems of equations in that way. So if you haven't, please watch the first three videos of the linear algebra series so you can follow along later. It'll help you a lot in your exams and your problem solving will be much faster. So here we have a n is equal to 5 a n minus 2 minus 4 a n minus 4. So we have an n minus 2 and minus 4 here. So there's going to be a lot of constants we have to find. So let's start by bringing everything over to one side. So a n minus 5 a n minus 2 plus 4 a n minus 4 is equal to 0. Now we can find the characteristic equation. So this will be n to the 4 minus 5n squared plus 4 is equal to 0. Now we can factor this. So this will be n squared minus 4 times n squared minus 1 is equal to 0. And now we can factor this once more. So this will be n minus 2 times n plus 2 times n minus 1 times n plus 1 is equal to 0. So this means that our a n is going to be some constant alpha times 2 to the n plus a constant beta times negative 2 to the n plus some constant gamma times uh, 1 to the n plus some constant delta times negative 1 to the n. So there's a lot we need to solve for here. So what we can do is we can plug in our a0, a1, a2, and a3 and we can see what we get. So a0 which is equal to 3, is going to be, well, if we put 0 for all of our n's here, this will be alpha plus beta plus gamma plus delta. Our a1 is equal to 2, so if we put in 1's for all of our n's, we're going to get 2 alpha, this will be minus 2 beta plus gamma minus delta. Got to make sure we get the right coefficients here, otherwise this is going to take a long time if we screw up. Okay, a2, we plug in 2 for n, this is equal to 6, we're going to get 4 alpha plus 4 beta plus gamma plus delta, and a3, which is equal to 8, we plug in 3 for n, we're going to get 8 alpha minus 8 beta plus gamma minus delta. So at this point, we're going to change this into a matrix that we can use to solve. So for this, our first column will be alphas, then betas, then gammas, then deltas, and then of course our ai's. So alpha will be 1, 2, 4, 8. Our beta will be 1, negative 2, 4, negative 8. Gammas will be 1, 1, 1, 1. Deltas will be 1, negative 1, 1, negative 1. And our ai's are going to be 3, 2, 6, and 8. So again, I've just taken each line and I've put it into our matrix. So now when we solve, it's going to be a little bit faster. So let's do some row reduction. Our first step is to get this top left to be a one and the rest to be zeros below it. So we're going to keep the first row the same. So one, 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 three. And then for the second row, we're going to subtract two of the first row. So two minus two is zero, negative two minus two is negative four, one minus two is negative one, negative one minus two is negative three and 2 minus 6 is negative 4. Okay, now immediately I'm going to multiply this row by negative 1, so these will all be positive, because I don't like working with negative numbers. Okay, second step, we're going to take the third row, subtract 4 of the first row. So 4 minus 4 is 0, 4 minus 4 is 0, 1 minus 4 is negative 3, 1 minus 4 is negative 3, 6 minus 12 is negative 6. Again, I'm going to multiply by negative 1, and I'm also going to divide by 3 here, so we can simplify things a little bit. Okay, fourth row. We're going to subtract the first row 8 times. So 8 minus 8 is 0, negative 8 minus 8 is negative 16, 1 minus 8 is negative 7, negative 1 minus 8 is negative 9, and 8 minus 24 is negative 16. Again, multiply by negative 1. Don't want those negative numbers. So. Now we have one alpha we're dealing with. Let's keep going. So now what we'll do is 
I'm going to take the first, second, and fourth row, and I'm going to subtract the third. So we'll take the first row, and we're going to subtract the third row from it. So we're going to be left with 1, 1, 1 minus 1 is 0, 1 minus 1 is 0, 3 minus 2 is 1. Our second row, we'll also subtract the third. So left with 0, 4, 1 minus 1 is 0, 3 minus 1 is 2, 4 minus 2 is 2. We're going to divide that row by 2 right now to simplify things. Our third row, we're going to leave the same. And our fourth row, we're going to subtract 7 of the third row. So we're going to be left with 0, 16, 7 minus 7 is 0, 9 minus 7 is 2, 16 minus 14 is 2. Then we'll divide it by 2. So we'll be left with 0, 8, 0, 1, 1. Okay, so at this point, um, what we can do is perhaps we can take the third row. Hmm, what do we want to do? Let's take the fourth row and we'll subtract four of the second row from it. So we're going to leave the first row the same here. We're going to leave the second row the same. The third row will also leave the same, but the fourth row we're going to subtract four of the second row from it. So we're going to be left with zero. Then eight minus eight is zero, zero. One minus four is negative three. And of course, one minus four is also negative three. So at this point, we can start getting coefficients. So this is a reminder. The first column is alpha, second is beta, third is gamma, fourth is delta and the last one is our value of a. So we have that negative three delta is equal to negative three. So this means our delta is equal to one. So let's put that on the side here. Delta is equal to one. Okay, if we have delta equals one, then the third row here says that gamma plus delta is equal to two. And if delta is equal to one, this means that gamma is equal to one. Okay. Now, the second row says that 2 beta plus delta is equal to 1, but delta is equal to 1, so this means that 2 beta is equal to 0. So our beta is equal to 0. And finally, the first row says that alpha plus beta is equal to 1, but beta is equal to 0, so this means that alpha is equal to 1. Okay, so all the coefficients are 1 except for beta. So this means that our recurrence relation here, we can plug in 1 for alpha, we get rid of beta, we plug in 1 for gamma, and 1 for delta. So our a n is equal to 2 to the n plus 1 to the n plus negative 1 to the n. So let's put that down here. So our a n is equal to 2 to the n plus 1 to the n plus negative 1 raised to the n. So let's see if we can get our a0, a1, a2, and a3 values back. So if we can get all four of these back, then we're probably on the right track. So a0, 2 to the 0 is 1, plus 1 to the 0 is 1, plus negative 1 to 0 is 1. So a0 is equal to 3. a1, well 2 to the 1 is equal to 2, 1 to the 1 is equal to 1, negative 1 to the 1 is negative 1, so we get 2. a2, 2 to the 2 is 4, 1 to the 2 is 1, negative 1 to the 2 is also 1, so we get 6. a3, 2 to the 3 is 8, 1 to the 3 is 1, negative 1 to the 3 is negative 1, so our a0, a1, a2, and a3 are 3, 2, 6, and 8, which is the same as what we started with. So there's a very, very, very good chance that this is the correct answer. So that is solving a really nasty recurrence relation. Uh, I don't think you'd ever get one on an exam because there's too much room for error and it doesn't really test your understanding. It just tests your ability to do computation. So it's here for people who want to look at it and for people who may have been stuck with like, what do I do? But uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them.